Hi everyone, welcome to Team Alpha Dash Pac-Man presentation. Pac-Man captures the flag. First of all, let's look at the design decisions. There are three modes: attack, defend, and return. By default, both agents will be initialized to attack mode. Depending on the situation, the agent is at the mode will be dynamically assigned to the agent, and then the agent will execute the best action for the next step. The reason for this kind of design implementation, rather than building one a agent as offensive and one agent as defensive is that regardless of whether the agent is Pac-Man or Ghost, the agent could change to any mode quickly and act on it. For example, if the Pac-Man is in the attack mode collecting food and realizes that it is losing food, the Pac-Man will change the mode to defend and work towards protecting the food from the enemy. Following our efforts, offensive and defensive strategies, offensive strategies are both agents attacking at the same time from top, top and the bottom. Use return mode to come back when the core of the food is collected. Greedily eat food when uh, safe and etc. De defensive strategies are when an enemy is detected, find the nearest food that it can reach and protect. Chase the enemy when not in scared time. If the enemy is detected, the agent is directed to roam around the separation boundary. If only five food are remaining in our side, the agent patrols around the food. Looking at the proper solution, we have used a combination of AI techniques a star and Mont Monte Carlo with upper confidence bounds. A star benefits from an available view to find intended goals, and Monte Carlo is used for finding the best possible path for us to find final goals by building a search tree and take best action. Within 0.6 seconds, the algorithm will do many iterations as possible up to maximum 20 depth. Each iteration will start from current state and select legal action directly toward the leaf node. Based on the state of that node, a cost will be assigned using. Using this method, it, it will build the search tree for, to find the path to answer your goals. You see, we have to choose the best student node and expand on the basis of that. Challenges for this project are the main challenge was choosing the mode for agent. It is hard to choose mode because of the unpredictable nature of the game. Secondly, an action for the agent should be made within one second. Therefore, the argument that chooses the next action should be effective and reliable. Thirdly, sometimes both teams lock into a deadlock situation. As stated in the slides, we have taken following measures to overcome these challenges. Following are the future improvements for this problem. Now let's look at demonstration for two methods. At the beginning of this project, we designed to implement the heuristic search algorithm. So we try to make a star search algorithm in this project. As the demonstration show, the agent that implement by a star that can use to search food properly, but it is hard to calculate the heuristic of the enemy position, and the agent is hard to calculate the heuristic of the food in corner. So we designed to develop the second version of this project which use dynamic A star, also called this star. This star is useful than A star in this project because this star search algorithm is good at replaning when the optical obstacle is detected in real time. The principle of this algorithm is to adopt heuristic sorted path search and adjust the path according to the change of the environment. The agent calculate the heuristic during the environment change. As the demonstration so the D star agent can detect the enemies and also can use to search for public, but still have some issue of the calculation calculating the heuristic value of the food in corners and some some of the action of the D star agent tech is not quite good because the heuristic calculation problem. Let's look at the demonstration of our method 2. This is our best solution which beats all staff teams. Therefore, this solution has a higher win rate. It is capable of finding optimal paths to intended and unsure goals. The main strength of this solution, as you can see in the demo, is that it is capable of coordinating attack using both agents at once. In the demonstration, although, although the enemy is eating our food, our agents effectively coordinate attack and eat enemy food faster and get back to home safely. This is the most effective attack strategy to win the game, which is driven by Monte Carlo algorithm. Only downside of this using Monte Carlo is that it cannot be used for defend mode since the algorithm runs multiple simulations looking at the whole game. Thank you.
you.